Hi, welcome to Jurassic World Life Lessons, where we are discovering some lessons about life that we find in the Jurassic Park film saga. Six films, specifically we're honing in on the last three um, and trying to figure out some lessons that we can learn out of them. Here is the life lesson for the day. What matters is what you do right now. What matters is what you do right now. You're watching this right now, and I appreciate your time. Hopefully what you're going to hear is going to remind you that the here and now really is important. In the Jurassic World films, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there's a volcano that's going to destroy the islands that live. And some of the di dinosaurs are transported off the island. Uh, they're brought back um, and they're unleashed. And so now dinosaurs are kind of roaming the earth and they're kind of uh, multiplying in ways than they have been before. So it sets up what is the third film, and the third film is about how do we live with those dinosaurs? How do we live in a world with dinosaurs there? What are we going to do to move forward? And there's this quote that's in there that is almost lost, but Ellie Sattler, the Laura Dern character, coming back from the very first film, shifts the focus from dwelling on the past to focusing on the future by this line. It says, if our world's going to survive, what matters is what we do now. See. In the Jurassic Park films, one of the things that happened and happened over and over again that drove the films forward is that they always were making mistakes. They were always trying to do more than they should have. They were always making some bad choices when it came to the creative power, whether I'd be creating dinosaurs or not, uh, how it should be done, how they should be taken care of, um, how they could relate to them, whether it should have happened at all. Her quote brings us back and snaps us back in some ways to the here and the now because as much as you and I would like to do it, there's nothing that you can do that's going to change or undo your past. Can't do it. Not going to happen. Now, God comes into our world and He says, I will forgive your past so that you can have a future. And so as a follower of Jesus, you get that option and it's an incredible option that you ought to take advantage of. But in general life terms, there's nothing that you can do to fix, unravel, or undo your past. You only can move forward from where you are today. What matters is not the past. What matters is what you do now. In this moment, you have to see it as a precious gift. This moment is a moment that God has given to you. This moment might contain memories that will last for a lifetime, or this moment might contain no memories that you're not going to think about ever, ever again. But this is your moment, and what matters is what you do now. What you do now is what God has called you to do, and He cares about what you do, because what you're going to do is another choice in moving forward to becoming that person that He's created you to be, and He uses you to impact the world around Him. So what matters is what you do now. That line from Jurassic World uh, our lost world resonates with me in a powerful way uh, because I often deal with people who are always looking back over their shoulder at what was and they look back so often that they miss what is and what may be. You don't make forward progress looking over your shoulder. You can't. But I know that you were not created for extinction. You're not destined for extinction. You're destined to survive and thrive. And so what matters is what you do next. And so, when this is over, what will you do then? It matters. Trust me. It really does. And I'll join you here again next time for more life lessons.